Hello everybody, hello everybody. This is Five at Five. Today is Music Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Today my very special guest is the unbelievable, talented, insanely beautiful Ruth Lorenz. What an introduction. I adore you. I, I did this little stupid game where I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna ask everybody to sing me a song and you were one of the first ones and so many people responded to your balcony concert. Everybody was just blown away by your talent. It was crazy. It was crazy. Thank you so much for inviting me to do that because I had been at home for like maybe a week or so for some reason like the the atmosphere just like left me feeling like really down and so you asked me on a monday i was just like i don't know if i can sing i was rehearsing at home and all my neighbors went out to their balcony i was singing Nes un dorma you know i love that song everybody came out and so i said okay then tonight i will do like a little performance I was only gonna sing one song and then they asked for one more and I was thinking, I owe it to my friend in Austria to sing Purple Rain. It was more healing for myself than for anybody else. I love it. I'm and then crazy. since then I've been singing every day. When there's something on your mind and you're just not, you don't feel it basically. But it is then missing. Your body, your system does miss it. So it's it's beautiful that you that you did it and you you blew us away. I mean, <clears throat> at the X Factor in the yeah. UK, you were partnered with Danny Minogue, right? Sending okay. her a big kiss from here to Danny. Yes. Imagine Danny Minogue watching, oh my God. Yes. I know she does and I know she's seen you. That's exciting, hi. Tell us a the, the little story about how did Ru little Ruth became this phenomenal singer. Everyone that has an inner ability to do something, you already know you can do it even before you can actually sing or dance or paint. When I was a kid, I just knew I could sing. Funny enough, there was this lady that used to come to my house on Saturdays and her name was Conchita. No! I was only like maybe three and she was singing Zarzuela, which is like, a Spanish version of opera. I remember her singing and I would think, I'm gonna be able to do that. I just started singing when I was around, yeah, three. I would know all the songs from Annie, from Disney movies. And then my family moved to the US when I was about nine. My parents separated. My mother just wanted to go really far and my family comes from a Mormon background. So my sister lived in Utah. We didn't speak English. I had to start working when I was very young to like support the family. I was 10 and I was working in a hamburger restaurant that, wow. but I was working in the stock room. I would come home from school, leave my bags and walk to work. And I remember I would like place everything perfect and imagine it was a stadium. I would grab the ketchup and be like, thank you so much for this award. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I went into the X Factor and when I did the the tour, I became fifth on the show. Yeah. I sang Purple Rain, which was massive and <clears throat> That's why I asked you to do it. Yes. Okay. I remember coming out at Wembley Stadium to sing. And I was like, fuck. I did it. You know? And then everything went crazy because I signed with EMI, which was like a massive label in the UK. Even though I didn't win the show, I did really, really well. But then the music they wanted me to do was like, not in my heart. After a year and something, I gave back the contract, I gave back the money, and I bought my songs in which there was Dancing in the Rain. Yeah. So I was left with nothing in the UK. It was this crazy contrast of like having everything but yet having nothing yeah i worked really hard in songwriting and just like getting together with amazing writers and composers like jeff beck that he played in my last album and i was able to learn so much like the euro fans heard that i was in spain and so they were like oh she's going to eurovision i thought it was a joke yeah i was like i'm never doing that they rang me from the Spanish TV and they're like, do you want to enter like our thing? And I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. And so, so wasn't the Eurovision fans that actually recommended you? Was it that bus that made them call you? That's great. I will never forget the day I got on that bus 
I'm really shy, although I don't look it because I'm forward all the time, right? Yeah. When I'm on stage and stuff. But, and so I thought, before everyone gets in the bus, I'll get in the bus to just like find a quiet seat and just sit down and just wait for everyone to get in. When I get in the bus, there you are, sat at the front, Conchita, dressed in black. And I look at you and I'm like, oh my God. And you're like, I love what you're wearing. I'm like, no, I love what you're wearing. We were dressed exactly the same, but without the beard. <laughs> really was love at first sight like I still get chills when I talk about it like being there this whole experience that we have together the crazy days of press and just seeing each other you know rushing down the hallway and just the, hi how are you yes okay I felt like like I won through you it's really funny when I get asked you were a symbol of freedom and of truth I remember we shared, remember we were door to door on our dressing rooms and we'd yeah. be warming up and <laughs> you'd be like, ooh, 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 and I'd be like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. and I remember saying to everyone, I really hope Conchita wins. That's what needs to be done in Europe. Uh. And then you win and you walk by and we hugged and I was like, yes, you fucking bitches. You <laughs> have to hear that. And I've loved you ever since. Everybody feels that you're such a warm person and then the singing is just insane. It's really incredible what you're capable of doing with your vocal cords and it's, it's mind-blowing. Yeah, you <laughs> say that. You say that. You. <laughs> oh. Hello. Thank I, you so I just much. Love, I just love singing. It's the one thing that keeps me going through life. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I adore you. Give it up for Ruth Lorenzo. Te amo, mi amor.